In this video, we present a tactile information display for pedestrian navigation. A problem with map applications is that users do not pay enough attention to their environment. A great deal of information is presented, so it is difficult to get the most important where to go now at one glance. An alternative is to listen to audio instructions, but it can be annoying, or, when listened to with headphones, isolate from the environment. Using Navi Radar, the user can freely observe the environment without the drawbacks found with audio feedback. Vibrations indicate the direction the user should walk to. To associate a direction to the vibrations, one has to imagine a radar that is constantly rotating around them. A regular pulse indicates that the radar scans the front of the user. A second, distinct vibration communicates the direction to travel. By adjusting the timing, different directions can be indicated. To find most distinct vibrations, five different patterns were compared in a first indoor user study. A C2 tactor and an amplifier attached to a mobile phone allowed a full range of vibration parameters to be explored. Controlled with audio files, it can be connected to the headphone jack of any music player. For the first pattern, the signal duration is distinct for the different directions, while intensity is used to show the remaining distance to the turn. When the vibration is weak, the turn is distant, like music is quieter when further away. The second pattern uses the overall duration of vibrations to distinguish directions, while the number of pulses shows the distance, where more pulses indicate a closer turn. For the third pattern, a long and rough vibration indicates the direction of a close turn, while the vibration is smooth when the turn is distant. The fourth pattern indicates a turn to the right by starting the vibration at the top and increasing the intensity until the desired direction is reached. If the turn lies to the left, intensity decreases until the top. Intensity is used to indicate distance. In the fifth pattern, directions are indicated as a single pulse for the current, and a double pulse for the desired direction. Intensity shows the distance. After an introduction to the main concept, each pattern was explained and participants could try its distinct vibrations. There were presented four different directions for training, where the visual aid of the radar and the solution afterwards were presented. In the tests, nine different directions were tested for both close and far distance, resulting in 18 directions tested per pattern and participant. Everyone learned the concept easily, and had become familiar with the feedback after the one-hour study. The combination to use the number of pulses and intensity for distinct signals performed best regarding the recognition of direction and distance and, is easy to understand. A second study investigated the outdoor performance, compared to two other non-visual navigation systems, which were re-implemented by us for the purpose of this study. Using Navi Radar, when a turn is coming up, a weak and then intense vibration for the desired direction is presented. The current direction is constantly communicated to confirm the way and maintain the rotation feeling. Pocket Navigator also uses vibrations only. Two short pulses indicate to go straight. If the first one is longer, a turn to the left, otherwise a turn to the right is required. A longer vibration means to turn more. Three pulses indicate to turn around. When one waypoint is reached, the next is indicated. Here, with the combination short long, indicating a right turn. The third system consisted of spoken instructions, where audio commands are preceded with a vibration to notify the user of the next instruction. After 40 meters, turn slightly right. Not turn slightly right, and then after 50 meters, turn left. With the audio guide, Participants could walk without stopping. 
Errors only occur when distances were misjudged. With Pocket Navigator, a new direction was only indicated as soon as a crossing was reached. This caused disorientation when users waited to be told the new direction. Ratings were significantly worse than audio in terms of ease of use and learnability. With Navi Radar, walking performances were similar to the audio guide. Constant feedback and early indication of instructions allowed participants to walk without stopping. Regarding if it was easy to learn and comfortable to use, similar ratings to the audio guide were achieved, although that was familiar for everyone.